What's up guys? Grim here. Today we're playing some Elder Scrolls Online and the Dragon Bones DLC is now live in the game. So one of the biggest features that came with this DLC is the outfitting changes. It's basically transmogrification has landed in the game. If you're familiar with it from like WoW or else other games, it's been around in gaming for a very long time and it's basically a way of changing around your outfit to look different than the actual gear that you have on. Uh, if you have like the best gear in the game, it might be the ugliest armor in the game as well. And it would be really nice to make it look like something else in order to make your character more appealing. Uh, as you can see, my character is terrible looking. So changing around his outfit would be a great change. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our map and uh, we're going to look for like a tailoring shop or something like that. And if you look at this one, you will see that uh, this is in Vivic City and you'll see an outfit station symbol as well. And what you need to do is go to the outfit station and that will bring you to something that looks like this. And you go ahead and use the outfit station. Now this is the, the gear that I have on right now. It's really just terrible looking. So if I can make it look like something else, it would be very nice to have. Uh, you can go with a lot of different things. So let's go ahead and explore a little bit of the options. Uh, now what I have here is no outfit. That means that it's not going to change the look of my stuff. I can basically change the, the colors and stuff like that, but it's not going to change this helm from looking like a big mouth with my face coming out of it. If I want to make this look like a different, uh, helmet or something like that, then I need to go to the outfit and you actually have an outfit here that is free to you. Uh, they give you one outfit that you can use and then additional ones after that will cost extra crowns. Um, so you'll have to pay for that with real life money, buying crowns, or if you have a ESO plus, you get crowns additional with it. So one way or the other, you got to get crowns in order to unlock additional outfits. All right, then you'll be able to change around your stuff. You'll be able to uh, make your helmet look uh, into a different helmet. Uh, what we're going to do is show you some of the colors and stuff that you can go with once you change your gear into what you would like it to be. Uh, as you can see, there's like weapon sets down here. You can change them around as well. Uh, so take for instance this helmet. What we want to do is we want to uh, start coloring it certain ways. So once you find the piece of gear that you're wanting it to look like in your outfits, all you have to do is go over here to the color palette and start selecting what you would like. Uh, you can actually have several different tools here. You can, uh, like the eyedropper will allow you to basically click on the color and it'll copy that color so that you'll be able to match things and don't have to go down here and try to guess, you know, was it this one or was it the one right beside it that you actually put that color on. Uh, you'll be able to use the eyedropper and be able to go straight to it. Or else you can use the eraser to erase that color altogether and go back to your default color. Um, a lot of these are unlocked uh, through different ways. Uh, pretty much all of them that I've seen was by achievements. So if you actually right click on it, you can click on it, view achievement, and it'll be different things that you need to do, uh, such as like uh, Cyrodiil achievements or uh, PVE achievements. There's all kinds of different things in order to unlock these. And as you can imagine, the rarer colors down here are harder to get. However, if you go to your crown store, let's go ahead and show you guys this. Uh, you'll be able to go down a little bit and you'll see dyes right here. And that'll allow you to actually buy some of the dyes with crowns, such as 50 or 100 crowns each. Um, and it'll have like three colors on each one of them. So that's not too bad. I mean, 50 crowns, I can come off 50 crowns pretty easy. Uh, if you get too much more than that, I might shed a tear, but I think it's all right. And this gives you a lot of options to do your character with. Uh, this is basically just a rough overview for you guys to get an idea of what came into the game. And you'll have to experiment with it yourself. There are all kinds of different outfits and stuff that you can go with. I highly recommend you pick up some of these dies, change your character around. I think you'll really enjoy it. And even if you're somebody that's not real big into decorating, like I'm not, uh, if you just get one outfit that you're happy with 
and then you'll be able to run around in uh, where, uh, battlegrounds or Cyrodiil or else PVE, and you'll you'll be able to feel good about the way that your character looks, whether it's funny or else it's a tough guy image or tough girl, whatever you want. Uh, just enjoy your character, make it look the way that you like, and then you don't have to change it anymore after that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.